boss spam, super sprinters, overloaded HP. These are the three main things you'll be dealing with the most on Mauret or Toten high rounds, and it's probably the reason you're here in the first place. Lucky for you, I've got two strategies designed to turn this evil, unfair map into a fast-paced, insta-kill marathon that just so happens to end on round 100. Now, before we jump into either of the two strats, we do need the Cerberus Wonder Weapon first. Don't worry, it's super easy and fast to get. Get a Brain Rot on a weapon, head up to this room past stamina up and get a brain rot zombie to rip this door down. Then enter in the room and grab the hands off of the bed. Now get to round 10 and kill your first Krasny sold at and grab the battery it drops. Take both of these parts underground and install them onto Klaus. Use the remote to lead him to this locker near Mule Kick and wait for him to break it open. Once it's open, grab the black light that's inside and use it to find three secret codes around the map. The first place you need to check is Klaus's upgrade room and look in these three spots until numbers appear. When you find the numbers, write them down, and make your way to the sewer door and drop down into it. Again, check these three spots for numbers, and once you find them, write them down. Lastly, head into the grocery store and check these last three spots for numbers. Once you have all three sets of numbers, go back up to the room that had the hands part for Klaus and find the safe. Go up to it and activate it. While you do this, no zombies are going to attack you, by the way. Now put in the three codes you just found in the order I showed you before. Remember, Klaus's upgrade room is the first, sewer is the second, store is the third, if done correctly, the safe will open and you will receive access to a free Cerberus Wonder Weapon. Once you've got your Wonder Weapon, we need to now tear through these rounds as fast as we can to get to 50. Both strats really aren't going to work that well unless Super Sprinters are in the mix, and since they don't spawn any until round 51 and up, we need to reach 50 plus before we can even start them. I'd recommend either training here at the Trial Machine and using Shatter Blast and the Cerberus, or just chill up here at the Wonder Fizz and camp for as long as possible each round with a Ring of fire. Really both work just fine, it's up to you and whatever you prefer. Eventually when you reach round 50, we can start. Now it's time to actually start working on the strats themselves, starting with my favorite of the two, the sewer access strat. Here's what it looks like in action, it's very high octane, gets you tons of kills, flies through rounds very fast, and overall is not that hard to learn. However, I will say this, no matter what map you play, you'll need to practice these strats a lot to get them nailed down. Cold War is a tough game on high rounds, so take your time to practice these strats a little bit. Anyways, if this strat interests you, here's what you'll need for it. A fully packed Cerberus, a war machine, a ring of fire, also have a weapon with Shatter Blast, and you're gonna want some Semtex with you as well. And this is the most important thing, you 110% have to keep the door in the sewer access room closed. If it's open, this strat will not work. So how does this strat actually work though? It's pretty simple. You train up hordes in this square room and kill them off by either using Shatter Blast or Semtex. Doing this will charge your Ring of Fire. Once you have a ring ready, hurry and get in this corner near the door. Use the Ring of Fire to start shooting the Cerberus in every direction you can, killing off every zombie you can find. The Ring of Fire gives the Cerberus more than enough damage to kill Manglers, Panzers, and Disciples as well, but just make sure you're clearing out the zombies too. When the ring's about to expire, run out of it and train up a new horde and rinse and repeat. Now, obviously, Disciples make training on this map very hard, so how do you deal with them here? Well, you definitely aren't going to be killing them unless you have a Ring of Fire charged up, so don't even try that. Since the Disciples boost the health of the zombies, it makes it a bit harder to kill off the hordes, but here's how you do it. Build up a horde and then toss two Semtex or use your Shatter Blast. Usually both of those things are more than enough to wipe out a full horde, even if it's been boosted by Disciples, but sometimes your ring won't fully charge from this. So feel free to shoot a few shots of your war machine to finish its charge, or even just train up a new horde entirely to be safe. And when it comes to training, what I do is I train as best as I can when the Disciples mess with my horde, and if I do get stuck, I just simply shoot once or twice with my war machine. Always have your war machine out in case you do get stuck. It is so important to have it ready. Also, having your elemental pop panic reload is very helpful as well. Shatter Blast and Semtex can help you get unstuck also, but I would honestly just rather use the war machine. Occasionally, the game is going to hate you and it's going to spawn manglers, disciples, and panzers all in one round, but don't panic when this happens. As long as you train properly and keep your war machine out at all times, you will not get stuck. Throw a few Semtex or Shatter Blast the horde, charge the ring of fire, get in your corner, and slay out with the ring of fire and it works every single time. The last thing to cover in this strat is the downs, and unfortunately they do happen, and on these rounds it is terrifying, but let's try to make this as manageable as possible. Firstly, try 
to revive yourself using Quick Revive by shooting in the horde with Elemental Pop. If you're lucky, you might save us off res. Once you're back up, immediately throw a decoy and get up that repel rope ASAP. Then what I like to do is I get my armor first by going to the path area, just because I feel way safer with armor on these rounds even without perks. Then I go to the Wonder Fizz, go up the repel rope, throw a decoy immediately, grab all your perks as fast as you possibly can, then head down to the repel rope to Klaus's room and make your way to the workbench. Throw your last decoy, rebuild your self res and your decoys, and keep in mind on your way through the sewer access there actually is an armor station there although it is a little risky to use mid-round but yeah that should just about cover everything in this strat like i said before you're gonna need some time to practice this one so don't feel discouraged if you can't seem to get it right it takes time it takes patience but once you've learned it it'll probably be your favorite high round strat on this map so good luck and now for strat number two Admittedly, this one isn't as good as the first strat in my opinion, but I actually just came up with this a few days ago myself. This strat is geared towards those who want a full camping based strat, rather than training. It also works with regular guns, although I certainly would not recommend it. Train at the trial machine below the Wonder Fizz, get yourself a ring of fire charged, then run to the barrier in the alley that leads to Klaus's rappel rope, and then camp there with a the ring of fire as long as you can. The footage you're seeing right now is with a crappy SMG from a challenge video I made, but if you're using a Cerberus or Hell even a ray gun, this would work so much better. You just kill off the round as much as possible with the ring, then when it expires, pull out your war machine and kill off small groups of zombies that come into the alley with you. You should be able to squeeze at least one, maybe even two rings of fire out of the 12 shots your war machine has, so use it sparingly. Once you charge a ring, activate it, and keep slaying out. Sometimes panzers, manglers, and disciples are going to spawn behind you, and if this does happen, just try to kill them with your Cerberus and the ring of fire if you can, but obviously if you're getting overwhelmed or taking massive damage, just get out of there, use the repel rope behind you, and run all the way through the sewer access. Once you get to the repel rope there, just go right back up the training at the trial machine. Now keep in mind, on the route that you take to the sewer access repel rope, there is a crafting table that you can use to get new war machines at the end of every round, and you can always grab some armor if you need to in the sewer access. To kill hordes when training, use your Semtex or your Shatter Blast, and disciples are annoying here, so make sure you have your war machine out at all times just in case you do get stuck training. The final thing to note would be how to recover from downs, but it all depends where the down took place. If you went down camping here, then try to res with quick revive by shooting in the horde with elemental pop, or just use the self res. Then use the repel rope behind you and throw a decoy at the workbench so you can get a new self res and maybe new decoys. Then buy some armor in the sewer access, go up the repel rope, go to the wonder fizz, throw a decoy, rebuy your perks as fast as you can. Now if you went down while training near the trial machine, go grab your armor near the pack punch first. First, then go up the Wonder Fizz repel rope, throw a decoy, rebuy your perks, and then go get a self res from the workbench underground if you need one. Like I said before, I just built this strat myself a few days ago, but I did get the 100 on my first try using this, even without the Wonder Weapon, so feel free to give it a try if you're struggling with strategy 1. And those are the two strategies you can use to break through 100 here on Maurit or Toten. I've used them both myself multiple times, and I would highly recommend either one, although like I said before, I do prefer the first strat. I think it's just a little bit faster, but it is harder, so feel free to practice that one a bit if you need to. But regardless of which one you chose, I wish you all good luck on your runs, and as a final word of encouragement, don't give up if you fail at this, because eventually if you keep grinding at it and keep trying, you will pull it off, I promise you. On that final note, I hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully this helps you, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out!